welcome back. So, yeah, Stone Eliota from stoneeliota.com. So, we kind of give you just a little taste for my brush technique. And um, we start with a little bit of brush technique in uh, controlling from rudiments. So, uh, I started to use my brush with a little bit of rudiments because after all when you start to smooth and brush on your snare drum it's nice to have a nice control from your brush because it's another thing it's another sound from sticking okay and it's more smooth but you could play everything I play everything with my brushes I love my brushes okay and uh, so the way I started to use my brush when I started to learn it was I did some rudimental things so to learn to have a, a, a good position for my stick and I control of the brushes because it's another way to stick on the on the snare drum all right so I started with the singles You see, I'm very soft and I don't smash the single on the snare drum. Okay, I try to do very smooth that I really can control the stroke roll. So I use really the top from, uh, from the brushing. And to control this, you know. Okay, you see, when you when you start to go faster with the brush, so the brush has such a movement there, so you have to control this movement, you know. It's like Bruce Lee, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know, control this and play very soft and learn really to, not to smash. We have some smash things when when you you know do the the form from swing and and. All the other groups that you play uh, that you play on the snare drum but first of all you know learn really to control your your brush then I start you know with the doubles So you see, to to have this movement out with the double is very important because when you swing, you have doubles in there. So you have the single, you have the double, you have the triplet form, and you have all this putting together that comes to music. Okay, so uh, have a nice control. You know, learn the first really to control your brush, and you get in love with that. You're getting in love with that to play with the brush. There are so many things that you could do. Okay, and. Um, Another thing that's very important for the brush technique is the paradiddle form. So you have left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Okay, one and two and three and four and two and, two and three and four and. Now very slow. Left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. And play again all the time with a nice stop from the brush, okay? Don't smash in, okay? So, doubles, singles, paradiddle. So, 
So when you got this in form and you got this really going on and you see it very smooth and you could bring this rudiment together. And you have this form all together. Then you can start to do some sounds that you like and uh, some grooves you know, that you think that for you okay are and maybe for the music and right then you know just put them a little bit together and um, I'll show you now just a little bit tasty thing what you could just do with this three rudiments form without and then by the next capital I will explain how to brush on a complete snare drum on drum set. So when I use as groove, so I have singles. So I have the singles and the doubles. Now I put the singles, doubles and paradiddle. So now I do a combined thing and the mixture of everything to do this a little bit in a groove. That you really smooth and you know to have an an exchange from left and right and right and left like like a mirror okay and coordination and uh, and your sticking independence for left and right okay this is just a little bit taste to begin with the brushes up to see your tune one strike and one shot see you. <laughs>